Welcome back guys. Today's video is a very short one on simplifying cube roots. Basically an extension of what we talked about yesterday. So way in the beginning of the year, we were simplifying things like this, the cube root of eight, which is what we consider to be a perfect cube because the cube root of eight is two. So we're going to use the same methods that we talked about yesterday. Method one, remember, was uh, trying to find the largest perfect square that was in a number. Well, since we're doing cube roots, we're looking for the largest perfect cube that goes into 16. And it did help uh, early in the year if you did memorize some of the perfect cubes that we had, that we suggested. So I'll put some of them up here. One, eight, 27, uh, 64, 125, uh, I don't have any more room, so we'll stop at 216. So we wanna know which of these, which, of the lar which is the biggest one of these that will go into 16 evenly. Eight, of course, is the biggest one, so we can split this into the cube root of eight times the cube root of two. Again, following our lead from yesterday. Cube root of eight is two, so we carry that down as outside of the cube root, and then we carry down the leftovers that we have, which is the cube root of two, and so our final answer is two cube roots of two. We move on to method number two, where we once again start with the cube root of 16, and this one we are breaking it down into all of its primes. So 16 would be two times eight, eight would be two times four, and then finally four is two times two. It's as far as we can break it down. Now, yesterday we were circling every pair of twos. Well, since we're doing the cube root, we're gonna be circling every three. And every three of the same prime number that we have comes out as one of those in our answer. So three of those will come out of the cube root as a single two. And then this is the leftover right here. This two here that did not get circled. It didn't have a, uh, two other ones to pair with it. So now, this would be our leftovers, and we would get the same answer of two cube roots of two. So again, method number one, method number two. This is very beneficial for numbers that are very large. If you're having a hard time finding perfect cubes that go inside, but again, you can always use your calculator as well. All right, so we're gonna do two more examples for you. Again, using method number one for, for each of these. Actually, just one more example. We're gonna do the cube root of 375. So we would go through each of these, once again, if you need assistance with your calculator, to see which of these would divide into 375. Um, so this one can break down into the cube root of 125 times the cube root of three. The cube root of 125, is five. We cannot take the cube root of three, so that is our leftovers. And so our final answer would be five cube roots of three. Now I'm gonna have you do two examples on your own. I'd like you to do the cube root of 81 and the cube root of 320. And you can pause it here. When you come back, I'll have the answers worked out for you. So for the cube root of 81, you should have gotten three times the cube root of three as a final answer, because it splits into the cube root of 27 times the cube root of three. For the cube root of 320, you should have uh, split it down into cube root of 64 times the cube root of five, and had a final answer of four cube roots of 